What's up guys, Bramsey here and welcome back to the channel in today's video as you can probably already tell We have some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, which is insane uh, So Microsoft recently just uh, Updated all the servers for all the old Call of Duties. I'm talking Call of Duty 4 uh, Modern Warfare 2 Black Ops 1 World at War. We've got literally all of them and they're all on sale at the moment So if you do want to pick them up and obviously now is the time to do so um, Honestly, I wanted to do some Call of Duty 4 content uh, just because that is where it all began for me. I mean, unless you count Call of Duty 2, I guess. But Call of Duty 4 was like my favourite COD of all time. But um, it's just there's more people on this, so I thought it'd be easier. And obviously, this one as well is really OG to a lot of people. Um, so I thought we'd give it a go. Um, but if you look at my creator classes, these are literally untouched from maybe 11, 12 years ago. It's actually pretty insane seeing all this again, to be honest. Now, obviously, we've still got the ACR. We're still repping the ACR all the way back then. We knew the drill. We knew the assignment. Um, but let's go ahead and get into a game. And I thought we'd do a live commentary uh, in the game. It takes, honestly, it's so quick to get into a game. As you can see, we're in, um, we're in a high-rise, I believe. So we'll probably play one or two games just because of... We can use a TAR-21. Oh, my God, look at it. Look at it. We'll probably play two games just because we joined this one halfway through. I'm not expecting anything. Wow, the field of view is horrible. I'm so zoomed in, but this is so nostalgic, especially high rise. Obviously, back in the day when I used to be like a, a quick scoper and, and all that, I used to, you know, you should spawn in and run down the front and just try and snipe all the way down to the other end of the map. That was kind of the thing to do. It's crazy how much slower this game is, you know, compared to other CODs nowadays. But this is what COD was, and it, this was enjoyable. Unfortunately, a lot of people won't even, you know, recognize Call of Duty like this. Uh, and it's sad, really, but. Um, yeah, it's definitely weird to play. So I did want to touch base quickly on why I haven't uploaded in such a long time. I'm fully aware it's been a minute uh, or two. It's definitely been about three weeks, I think, or four weeks. Um, honestly, I just I've just been really caught up with stuff. So I went away. Um, I went on like a lads' holiday, and when I come back, I pretty much needed a break just from everything to be honest, because I went straight back to work as well. So I was knackered and just kind of wanted to catch up on sleep and. Then I was seeing like family and friends and stuff like that, so I just didn't really have time to make any videos. But I'm fully back underway, and I thought, what a way to create content than doing it by playing a game so nostalgic. Uh, now that we can as well, um, and obviously it's the off season, so this was kind of like my my way of branching into the off season. Because obviously, if you remember rightly, uh, in the first ever video I did on the channel, I did mention the fact that I want to do different types of content on the channel, which is a little bit, you know. Not the you know it's scary to say oh my god he's all like that. oh I fell off <laughs> that was the glitch I remember that he used to climb up the invisible ladder to get up there uh, that's crazy but um yeah it's kind of scary when you start marching into other types of content as well just because obviously you grow a you grow a base around a fan base like around the content that you do so obviously you know people then you then hoping that people come to your channel for you and not for the content you produce because you're going to be doing a mix and. Obviously, some things are going to be people's fancy, and other things are not. Um, you know, like I, if I bring Call of Duty fans to a channel about Call of Duty and then start uploading, I don't know, like I'm trying to think of another game, uh, Fallout content. I don't know why I'd do Fallout, but even if I did, like you know, I wouldn't attract the same fan base. So you kind of have to then make sure that the people are coming for you and not so much the content. So you're like building around yourself as a person as well. Um, but I mean, it's still COD related. I just thought it'd be something a little bit different and also just really nostalgic and honestly I can't believe how well I'm doing right now. I honestly didn't expect myself to do this well. Uh, one because I haven't actually, even like newer CODs, um, like even the current COD, I haven't played COD in general in like three weeks. Um, so honestly when I go back to Modern Warfare 2, the newer Modern Warfare 2, it's going to feel, why does my aim keep doing that? It's going to feel so out of character. Because I'm just, I'm just used to this. Uh, sorry, not used to this. I'm not used to... Well, I'm going to get used to playing this. I'm on a actually killing tree right now. I'm, I'm tearing people apart. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, my God. Chopper Gunner in the first game. First game. My aim is really weird and I don't know why. But we've got a Chopper Gunner. Who cares? I'm bringing that straight in. Because I think this game's about to end. Although well, it's not far away from ending anyway. Chopper Gunner on this map. I can't... Oh, this is OG Chopper Gunner. Look at this. I forgot you don't control this. This is, it literally directs you. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> this is crazy doing all this again. And there was like, I don't believe there's any spawn C 
situation. So like I don't feel like there's any spawn protection or whatever. I'm pretty sure you just die. No, straight up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you do because I'm, as you see, I'm... Yeah, just shooting in that one spot. Yeah. This is so cool. Ah, oh, it's just, it's memories, guys. It's, uh, it's bringing a Harrier as well, sod it. Bring that over there. Oh, God, it just feels awesome playing this game again. It's been such a long time. And obviously, if you guys do want to see uh, maybe some COD 4 content or maybe even... Oh, my God. I forgot these things don't move either, like, in terms of, like... I've got a kill with it, though. They don't, like... You can't direct... I think I've got a double kill with that. You can't direct them. They just kind of go down. Like, you move it like that. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You can't angle it. Like, what you can on the newer pods. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see some other Call of Duties, like maybe COD 4 or something, just let me know, because as I'm more than happy to start playing some other ones as well. It, honestly, it's such a old school thing for me, but I think we we went we did well. 28 and 5. But uh, I will include another game for you guys, just because of the fact that that was quite a short game. But we managed to get a chop gun in the first game, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so the lobby actually glitched out completely uh so i had to rejoin another game but it's joined me midway through again so we're just going to play this one and then it's like half and half i guess of a game if you do want some proper full games then obviously let me know because i will do that happily i think with the servers now going to be up and about hopefully this is a continuous thing i'm hoping this stays the way it is now and we just have a oh mate imagine that imagine you know this is just the beginning and this is just it just stays up god i feel so close to the screen oh i end up running into walls and stuff where i'm just not used to it that was a dirty little head glitch. oh there's a guy sitting there and apparently a tactical insertion is a lethal that i have on for whatever reason so that was fun that was horrible actually just tried to throw a grenade and end up putting down a tactical insertion oh god i don't even know what my favorite map was on this game honestly Trying to think about it as I'm sitting playing a skid I was trying to think of myself. Do I actually enjoy this map when I used to play it properly? And I think I did. I think I love this map, especially on search. This map was pretty good. Everyone just kind of met in the middle here. I am getting wrecked. Now I'm pretty sure everyone just met up in the middle of the map, like you, especially on search, like you just end up here. And it would be snipers all the way down. Sniping on this game was so fun, so nostalgic, to be honest. I haven't done it yet. I'm tempted. But I don't think anyone else is, so I'm probably just going to get wrecked. And I'm already getting wrecked as it is. <laughs> we'll try a different gun though let's try a different gun maybe the UMP just for something else oh there you go there's one I don't know why my aim is playing up oh I should not have killed you that's for sure um, but talking of sniping and nostalgic sniping I think a lot of people would argue about what the most nostalgic sniper in Call of Duty history is and so I'm curious as to what your thoughts are on that so in the comments below, go ahead and let me know what you think your favourite sniper or the most iconic sniper in Call of Duty history is. It's a difficult one for me because I think globally, or like you just have to kind of say the intervention just because of what it is. But obviously for me, I didn't start there. So the most iconic sniper for me is 100% the M4, uh, M4 OA3 uh, from Call of Duty 4. Um, and honestly, I think the reason that the M M4A3, I mean, it's still, I think a lot of people would still consider it one of the top snipers of all time. But I actually think the reason it doesn't get spoken about that much anymore is because a lot of the people that played back then, like a lot of people that played Call of Duty 4 in its prime days and things like that, just aren't around anymore, gaming-wise. So the people that are still left playing games from the nostalgia days is like Modern Warfare 2, so the intervention just comes in. But for me, it's the M4A3. I mean, but I'm biased because Call of Duty 4 is my favourite game of all time. But we went 8 and 4. Uh, it wasn't, you know, a long one, so we'll, we'll jump into another one. Okay, I couldn't end the video without a terminal. Probably the most iconic map in Call of Duty history. In fairness, probably one of, if not the. Uh, I was going to use the Star 21, but I feel like we'll use a different gun this game. We'll, just, we'll use the ACR because you can't go wrong with the classic ACR. I prefer the ACR from Modern Warfare 3, but the ACR is probably like the most OP... Uh, AR in this game. If not, the scar was pretty OP as well. Oh my god, get through the door. <laughs> oh man, this map. This map. I spent so many hours uh, trick shotting on this map, honestly. Just jumping on and off of buildings and spinning around and hitting ladder stalls and all that shit. It just feels like forever ago. I mean, I guess it was forever ago. 
Uh, I could not play this map. Oh, the ACI doesn't even move. The aim doesn't even move. There's a sniper up there. Cool, so just laying down. You can you can go back to the nostalgia cards and you still can't change the people. But if you can't tell as well, obviously in the break that I took, um, I pretty much upgraded a lot of myself as well. I got a new mic and things like that. Uh, so I probably sound a hell of a lot better than what I did in that first ever live comm that I did. It probably just sounds a hell of a lot more uh, clear. Oh my god. Oh my god, this ACR doesn't move. Um, so I probably sound a lot better than what I did. Oh my god. There's so much lag in this. That's the only thing I will say about these classic cards, if you do jump back to them, is that they still suffer with a lot of connection issues. But to be honest, what can you really complain about for a game that's over 12 years old and is trying to run backwards compatible as well as obviously actual 360 players. People have set up 360s to play this. I'm still playing it on my Xbox One, just backwards compatible. But there's people that have set up their 360s for this. But honestly, this is, this is hours of fun. Like, this is when Call of Duty was hours of fun. Like... And I was talking to a couple of uh, couple of pals the other day about it, and I don't think it's got anything to do with growing up. I used to think it was because I've just got older. I really don't think it is. I think COD games, it, games in general, not just COD. Like I'm slating COD, but just games, man. They they just got they just got boring, um, and they became overly complicated as well for no reason. Like this is so simple, the concept of it, everything. You know, there's there's a couple of perks. There's a, there's only a few weapons. You know, it's not about having specialists and you know all these different crazy things going on it was as simple as you know you had a gun with only one attachment on it by the way which i don't necessarily think the attachment thing was a bad idea but this is what i mean about simplicity like the game was just simple there wasn't complications it wasn't you know it, it just didn't need to be something it wasn't and i, I respect it for that i'm gonna try and get an aq up there enemy there can i pick up this sniper yes here we go intervention time back to my quick scoping days Ready? Oh, I haven't got it. Have I still got it? I'm going to hard scope it. I've still got it. I've still got it. And again. This was the other cool thing to do with a sniper back in the day. Is you would actually do this. You'd just sit here and snipe down here. People running and jumping out. and You'd be just out there sniping away. I probably Should I use a sniper for some of this gameplay? Or am I going for like a kill one? Nah, okay, I'll, I'll snipe, I'll snipe. We'll, we'll have a go with it, we'll have a go with it. Add a bit of the ACR time, we'll use it in invention as well. Oh. Oh, MP5K. Christ, that's a throwback. Forgot about that. I'm just used to the MP5. I'm being killed from behind now. But yeah, lobbies are really full on this. Like, honestly, there's so many people playing. I think uh, I loaded into a domination earlier, which was a hacked game, unfortunately. So, like, it, people were... There was a nuke timer going on for about 300,000 seconds or something. Um, but TDM for the most part, and every TDM I've been in so far has been pretty fine, which is good. Okay, We're sniping though, this is scary. I haven't sniped. Oh, quick scope, look at me. I'm back. I might, might just start trick shotting again. I wonder if FaZe would welcome me with open arms. I'm not challenging that. Actually, no, I will. Ready? Ready? Who remembers this? Oh my god, I actually got a hit marker on that. No way I got a hit marker on the throwing knife shot. <laughs> oh, we're trying to get clips for the montage. I'm trying to focus, which is why I've stopped talking. <laughs> Oh yeah, and, and there we go. So I think we went yeah, 18 and 9, so it weren't too bad. We used the ACR and we used the intervention for some of that, but uh, that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just thought I'd bring it back to some nostalgia on Modern Warfare 2. Oh man, it's crazy that Microsoft have done this, to be honest. It's good to see the fan base still enjoying these games, but that's going to be it for me. Uh, if you guys do want to see more of this sort of stuff, maybe some Call of Duty 4 gameplay, I'd be more than happy to uh, get that gameplay up too. Um, and as I say, I do apologize for not uploading, but I'm now back. And that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.